everyone, today I'm going to share my February favourites with you. I have some real gems that I have absolutely relied on and loved this month, so I'm really excited to share them. My first beauty favourite will come as no surprise if you've watched my everyday makeup video and my makeup bag video. This is my Kiko Long Lasting Eyeshadow Stick. The shade I have is Golden Chocolate. This is amazing. The pigmentation is so good, the wear time is amazing, it just lasts all day, it doesn't crease and you guys just know I'm obsessed with cream eyeshadows, they're so easy, especially if they come in a little stick like this that twists up, no need to sharpen because it's like a deep chocolate colour, it's like a smoky eye in two minutes, so easy, so quick and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Next up is a primer that has absolutely saved me and my skin from looking horrible this month. My forehead has been so dry and I was actually at a Kiehl's event last week and the lady there said my skin did, um, according to the little patch test they do, was slightly dehydrated so I can only put that down to you know, the weather, central heating. So I've really upped my game in terms of hydrating and making sure my base is really smooth. And my favorite, favorite primer to do that is Ilmaskers Hydravail. Makes everything look plump and smooth. And you know, if you ever have any issues with clinging or flaking on the skin or perhaps makeup really drying and caking and looking really aging and not very nice which is exactly how my forehead looked like the foundation just bunched up around it and no matter how much moisturizer i'd put on underneath i just needed an extra step and this was it it's really a light soothing gel that is, it literally comes out like a jelly and then once you massage it in it melts into a gel that feels really soothing and cooling so great if you have like rosacea and sensitivity along with you know dryness and dehydration i just think it's a fab fab product and my last beauty favorite is a fragrance this has been a fragrance i've had for a couple of months and i've kind of been getting not getting used to it but i've kind of been wearing it on and off but then recently it's been my go-to like every single day it's just one of those that works for any occasion because you know some fragrances are really strong and really hard hitting and you wouldn't wear them like during the day you wouldn't wear them to work they're the ones that you save for like a special day or a night out on the town or something really where you want to feel really really sexy or you have you know your lighter fragrances that perhaps you wouldn't wear at night because it wouldn't make as much of an impact and they're nicer for the daytime because they're more subtle this for me falls somewhere around in between those two it's just a great kind of one size fits all for me i think the notes are really light and modern and fresh but at the same time it is still a little sensual and sexy it's the lancome la vie belle you know when you don't know which perfume to go for i always just gravitate towards this one because it just does it for me. I will put the notes up on the screen because I was naughty and didn't read up on them but like I said it's modern and fresh but it's still sexy so it's kind of good for any occasion. Moving on to a couple of lifestyle favourites. This book I received for my birthday and has been on my wish list for a lot longer than that since it came out pretty much because it's one of those books that is raved about amongst all the bloggers it's on every single blog you'll definitely have seen it it's hashtag girl boss by sophia amoruso for me it was so like unapologetically real and down to earth that i just really appreciated that honesty because a lot of success stories out in the media very much seemingly are like an overnight success where someone just blew up but the majority of people who are as successful as Sophia in terms of business are people who have literally like hustled for years and it took them ages to find what they wanted to do so I love that she's really honest and doesn't hold back in terms of sharing you know, the mistakes she's made and everything like that. I've already written up a blog post about this, which should be up this week, so around the same time as this video, 
but something I said in that blog post is that Sophia is like your cool but really sensible at the same time best friend so I think a lot of girls are going to take a lot from this book it's not like a handbook to succeed as in the fashion industry it's not like a feminist memoir or anything it's just her story so if like me you just love reading about women in business and find that really inspiring then I think you should check this out and my last lifestyle favourite is my food favourite of the month it is pip and not coconut almond butter and almond butter is something of a revelation to me I knew peanut butter was a thing and people loved it but almond butter to me the texture is better I prefer the taste and my favourite thing to have with almond butter is I basically get a tablespoon and put it right in the centre of my porridge amongst my banana like I usually would and a little bit of honey and the almond butter while the porridge is hot melts and just makes the porridge so much creamier and obviously you're getting more healthy fat and more fibre and it's so filling and satisfying. It's really easy to make your own almond butter at home and um, my boyfriend does it and his almond butter is really good. You literally just chuck roasted almonds, roast them in the oven just until they smell really nice, make sure they don't burn and then literally chuck them in your food processor and blitz them. You'll probably have to blitz them for around 10 minutes I think because basically the food processor just grinds up the almonds and then all the oils come out and that's when it turns into that buttery consistency. So that is the easiest recipe in the world. You can then add like a little tiny sprinkle of salt and then any flavourings you want to add. Of course Pip and Nut does it all for you so this is why I like this one. I am a sweet tooth girl and I always like sweet things and because I have it on porridge this one is really nice. Coconut and almond is such a great combination and tastes amazing. So thanks so much for watching my February favourites guide. Please let me know in a comment what your February favourite was, if it was a product or a particular food you're loving. I always love hearing from you and hearing what you've been loving as well in case I want to try it. I post Monday, Wednesday and Friday so make sure you check back on those days for a new video and I will see you then.